Hello, hello, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Career Mode. So, as you guys know, in the last episode, we did finish off one of our missions, the docking um, in space around the moon mission. So, today is our primary goal to fulfill this mission, and our secondary goal is to um, get as much um, scientific data as possible. So, because there is quite a lot of things to do, I decided to split off those two episodes. So today you're gonna see the part one where we're gonna send this mission we just accepted, the space station, into an orbit around um, the moon and then and dock of course and tomorrow you're gonna see the one where we're going to gather a lot of scientific data. So without further ado you can see here again a slightly asperger style stage styled um rocket where we have our big um, space station on top of it. As you can see, I really skipped through all the building process since there was uh, almost two and a half hours of footage, so you don't have to sit through all of this. So let's comprise it down to a decently what is this, 11 minutes or so we have here in this uh, video. So, pretty normal ascent here, not the most efficient, but not the worst one. Gathering some scientific data right now, and as you already uh, can see, we have two Kerbals on board Jebediah and Bob the scientist. So we can do all the scientific experiments where we haven't done them yet, so you can see, see that. And gather some additional scientific data, which is always sweet, and restore all of the experiments because we have a scientist on board. So, as you know, there are engineers, scientists, and pilots. Pilots can steer, steer the craft, and um, engineers can repack parachutes and repack rover wheels, and a few other things which kind of not, are not really important, but the scientists are really good to have especially for scientific missions. So, now pretty standard burn to, towards the moon, getting into an orbit. First I um, wanted to go into a normal orbit and then I kind of decided to go into a retrograde, even though I have no clue why I decided to go into retrograde. I thought let's go into a retrograde because, I don't know, because we can't probably. Uh, by the way, speaking of retrograde orbit, Later, since I've already recorded both parts of the mission, I don't know, but later this will be a bigger problem than it kind of seems right now, this retrograde orbit. But anyways, let's just get into orbit, get our space station nice and into, yeah, decently close orbit around the moon, getting, gathering scientific data we haven't done yet, then restoring all the experiments, taking them, storing them of course again, by uh, restoring, not storing, yeah, and storing the data of course and deploying our nice neat solar panel there on the side and as you can see we have also re relay dish so yeah and since our mission yeah well you can use this also as a relay station so since our mission is also kind of the one we have to do from the contracts department is to dock two vessels you see or you might have seen there are two docking ports on this like two small docking ports on the side where yeah they can see right now we're good um there are two docking ports so we will have to send another craft here you know the two dock with the space station and complete the mission and you see we have Jebediah here our pilot so we don't have any pilots left since Valentina sadly died so we have a kind of crew shortage but there shouldn't be any issues for about that so first we're gonna have to jump back into the KSC of course or yeah into the KSC and waiting until it's daylight of course since launching in the daylight is a lot more fun and you see there we have to complete the the other part of the mission and also kind of the the missions we completed last time still weren't kind of kind of deleted so yeah and the first par parameter there so let's quickly go into the mission center to see whether there's anything new we could do just to combine as i said everything so here we've got um space moon data which is always pretty easy to do since we have now there not only a satellite but also a space station so this is a win-win situation and free funds for us so right now we're going to do the um what was it minmus mission so our plan is to go into go to minmus and combine this with finishing everything off with kind of the moon completing the moon mission and this mission so as you can see we are using here a slightly altered variant of the one we of the big rocket we used to go to the surface of the moon and barely escape kind of got away from there getting all like removing all crew members <coughs> because we have a probe core on top of the um, capture which is attached to the docking port and we will now 
go off and put on the docking, my dock with the space station through this docking pool. And as you can see, we're going to go quickly through this launch, not as last time. So we can last time, so we are really slowly through all the way to the space stages to the proper on the same time to explain more or less how everything with the space stages works. And now you can see it again, so you can see first two fuel tanks and the second two, and later on we're going to lose the kind of third pair of um, liquid fuel boosters and um, by the way what I haven't mentioned yet and um, we'll probably mention later on is we have designed the lander on top the very top stage of course with multiple landing states so that we can hop around members a lot so to get the maximum amount of science or incentive, yeah, scientific data now just quickly finishing off our um, orbital insertion here going into a decently decent orbit and then later on we're gonna have to we will go to the moon, standard procedure, the um, maneuver node, and now I just realized or just remembered, wait, we have to take, we have to get the retrograde orbit because of the space station. So, shouldn't be too big of an issue, as you can see now, I've already designed the maneuver node to go on the backside, to, towards the floor side of the moon, directly, so this shouldn't be an issue at all. Now, we have also a new path. Um, on this rocket, the, the ones that we have unlocked last time in the um, R&D, we have now the skipper, or, or now let's skip the mainsail, now we are using the mainsail, not the skipper as last time, which is a lot more kind of, you don't have so many problems with lifting bigger rockets since it's quite, not qu almost triple the thrust, so three times the thrust and that's really decent, Sli slightly heavier though, but that's not really a big issue here anyways. So now coming in with all those markers, they're really funny. And right now we can see the communication issue. We have no direct line of sight, so I kind of was worried. But later on, once we are at periapsis, we have full control, which is perfect. And uh, since this is probably have always to worry about our electric charge, since I only packed three solar panels and not enough battery power to kind of think about it for quite too long. Like yeah, so this shouldn't be too big of an issue since I'm kind of thinking about that all the time and now we just have to make our small inclination change to do good encounter and then yes no probe control I fucked it up so I was hoping that uh, let's wait oh well let's just forget this encounter and fly around fly around and hope that the solar panels will get some time some sunlight but after I don't know how many orbits this will kind of Five ish or so, no chance in getting any sunlight. So we switch to the space station and time warped on the space station until we get a good opportunity to kind of make a new encounter with kind of the thrust or just generally the aid of the space station. So shouldn't be too big of an issue doing this correction burn, which is pretty small, even though we're rather close to the, uh, to the moon. Still wasn't really a lot of LTV, so no problem for our space station. Then we're gonna have here our lovely encounter and now we're gonna go now we're gonna go yeah sure now we're gonna do the more or less normal thing doing a rendezvous like we have now rendezvous now we have to start the docking procedure and since this is a space station and we kind of should do it the other way around I decided to take Jab which we wanted to take along for the ride anyway so the the whole point of scheduling it that way is so that we can take Jeopardy now off the space station and continue the our mission with him so we can detach the probe, co probe core so we have a dead satellite around around the moon but whatever nothing important still and now i'm really thinking quite a long time about ditching this tank it would be a lot easier without it though we have still some fuel but in the end we decided that whatever who cares about this little 50 units of fuel or so not too important so now we start going kind of closing in at the space station and using our set thrusters to kind of do everything we need and then i kind of later realize so not yet but i will later realize that we can't dock because of two issues first of all the doors of the service bay are still open and firstly and secondly kind of the thing has no control right now the space station is more like that as you can see i'm trying to do anything but it isn't working because we have to first uh, send Bob into the cupola module then turning around the space station so that we can dock 
and after that it's pretty well pretty easy I still have a little bit to kind of get used to those place thrust replacement so and I'm a little bit rusty I haven't done this in quite a while so and those docking ports are pretty small but in the end no problem mission completed and until tomorrow